Hi everybody. Welcome back to my channel. I hope that you had a good week or that your week is going well. Um, and I hope that this year is going well for you. I was going to say better, but I don't know how your last year went. So I just hope it's going well for you. Um, today's video, I wanted to talk to you about something and I guess in a way kick off a series, a short series that I'm going to put on this channel. Um, a friend of mine, that I work with came to me the other day and she'd seen my planner videos and she asked for a little bit of help and kind of I guess starting her planning journey <laughs> and, I, and she was like well, why don't you make a video about it because she has her own YouTube channel and she's she wants to get organized she wants to get in charge of her life and I was like that's a wonderful idea I'll make a video or several for you <laughs> She's very happy. So, and I promised this to her last year and I just never got around to it. Things got busy, my daughter's first Christmas, and I I said this year, beginning of the year, I'm gonna try and get these videos out. So she's not so far behind and she has some idea. It's never too late to get organized. So, you know, whatever. Um, so this first video, I wanted to make um, kind of helping her figure out her planning style. Um, oddly enough, there's no intro to this video. That's okay. We're not going to have an intro. I feel that this is more important. Anyways, um, so the first, the first thing that I feel that should be answered and addressed is what is your planning style? Um, how do you like to keep organized? Are you a list taker? Um, or are you more of a kind of sit down and plan your whole week out? Do you like to plan your day? Um, how do I put that? Do you want to plan your day the day of or maybe the night before? You're not necessarily, let me plan out my whole week on Sunday. You're more like, let me plan Tuesday, Monday night. So I guess the question is, are you a daily planner? Um, let's see, I, I guess another question would be, um, do you, uh, I'm trying to think, would you, do you have the time to plan? I'm hoping that makes sense. Um, some people are incredibly busy, um, that, you know, three or four kids and both parents, you know, both spouses or both people in a household work or maybe you're a single parent and you just don't have the time to plan. So that doesn't mean that you can't plan. That just means that your style of planning is probably going to be a little less structured than somebody who say, um, you know, doesn't work or only has one child or something like that. Like your planning, the planning styles are going to be different based on what your lifestyle is like and how you handle that lifestyle because some people's lifestyles could be kind of similar and they handle it in two different ways so you know there's no one way to really plan so the, the you know the question would be do you have the time to sit down and plan or are you kind of always on the go so you need something that is going to go with you another question would be to ask do you like to plan on paper or are you better suited to using technology to plan me personally I like to plan on paper and I use my phone, like my Google Calendar, kind of as a filler, um, especially big things like my classes that I, I'm a full-time student. So my classes go into my calendar. Sorry, I had to go get something to drink. Um, anyways, like I was saying, um, tech planning for me anyways is that I use it for the big things. Like I was saying before, I put um, my class schedule in it. If I have a doctor's appointment that's kind of far in advance, cause I don't really like future plan. I plan the week, but I don't go really past that. So any big things like doctor's appointments, um, my pet grooming, take my little, my dog in, uh, my daughter's doctor's appointments, anything big like that, vacations, those all go into tech planning or into like my phone onto my digital calendar and then I refer back to it when I actually do paper planning that works for me some people it doesn't work for so you have to kind of think about whether or not you are a paper person 
or if you are more of a kind of a tech savvy, you like using your iPhone or your Android or your tablet or whatever you may have in order to keep yourself organized. Um, I have quite an obsession with stationery, pretty paper, plain paper, it doesn't really matter. I like paper, I like pens, I like markers. That's what appeals to me and that's how I keep on track. So that's something for you to think about before you get invested in planning is what is going to be convenient for you. Um, is your phone going to be, like are you always on your phone, you're always on the go, you don't really have time to sit down. Maybe your phone and the online calendar and apps and stuff like that are perfect for you. Maybe they're not. It's, I mean, and usually, especially tech planning, it can be pretty either free or inexpensive. It depends on the app that you get. Um, there's no major investment because I'm assuming you already have your cell phone. You maybe you have a tablet, but you at least have a cell phone. So you're, you know, you already have that, and then you can find some apps. Some, are, a lot of them are free, um, and if not. A lot of you know phones and whatnot, especially the iPhone and Android, kind of come with some basic planning tools, and you can always use that. So again, that's something for you to think about: is what is your style of planning? And I, uh, because I'm not sure if that's the correct way to phrase it, but I think that that's something to get you started. Is excuse me, is what you. How, what is easiest for you when you want to plan? You know, what is your lifestyle all about? That will help determine what your planning needs are going to be. Um, so I think for right now, I'm pretty sure this is kind of a quick video. It, I'm pretty sure for right now this is this is a good starting point. Is that you need to figure out what your planning style is. I, you know, you don't want to go in and get these huge planners that are expensive, and then you don't like them. You don't use them, and you've spent, you know, like Erin Condren's Spiral Bound is um, starts at about fifty dollars, you know, and then you get the custom covers and whatnot. And if you don't like paper planning, you have <laughs> wasted almost, you know, like sixty, seventy dollars after shipping. Uh, even the Kiki K, the binders, and you know, this one is mine. Um, the planners, the really cute ones and the popular ones, are again about almost like, oh, I think they're like 70 or $80. So it's an investment and you need to make sure that the investment that you're about to make is going to work for you. Because again, if you're not going to use it, that's money wasted and you're frustrated because you've spent the money, you're not using it. So th that is the first question I would say ask yourself is what really is your planning style. Is it all of these? Is it one of them? Is it none of them? You know, what really do you think is going to work for you? Um, and that is a step in the direction of getting organized, is to figure out how you want to plan your life and keep it organized. So with that in mind, I'm going to end this video. Um, I don't want to say you have homework, but it's something to think about before the next video when we talk about, you know, planning essentials is what is your planning style? What do you hope to accomplish? What is going to work for your lifestyle and what is going to be easiest for you to maintain and keep up? You know, what kind of investment are you really looking to make in your organizing and planning life? So with that in mind, we're going to end the video. I hope that you have a very good day. I hope that you know, this kind of gets you started on the right path. And I hope that you come back for my next video in this series that we're going to do about planning and like planning essentials and getting started planning. So with that in mind, I will see you in my next video. Bye.